Most doctors consider chest pain to be something secondary that does not require serious attention. But there are cases when pain in the chest does not go away. Medicines, physical procedures, massage and even manual therapy do not help. Pain becomes constant, making the life of such patients unbearable. As experience shows, in these cases, the cause of pain is the protrusion of the thoracic intervertebral discs which arise as a result of a violation of the strength and elasticity of these discs and their removal outside the vertebral bodies. The main manifestation of the disease is local pain in one or another thoracic region of the spine, which is disturbing both in the supine and upright positions, and is aggravated by physical exertion. Sometimes the pain can acquire a girdling character. If the pain lasts more than two weeks, you should consult a family doctor. If necessary, he can refer you to a neurologist or orthopedist. An ordinary X-ray examination is useless. Computed tomography and magnetic resonance imaging are more informative. And it is desirable to do both examinations, because they give different information, so the error is minimal. Medicinal, that is. Non-surgical treatment of thoracic disc protrusions is often ineffective. In the world, there are bloodless puncture surgical methods for the treatment of disc protrusions, but they are not numerous. The unpopularity of these methods among neurosurgeons is explained, on the one hand, by their complexity, and on the other hand by the danger of possible complications, with a lack of experience. The surgeon may enter the lung or spinal canal with a needle. And although such complications do not pose a danger to the patient's health, they are still very unpleasant. And in most cases doctors are reluctant to resort to these operations. In our clinic, we have been treating protrusion of thoracic intervertebral discs for over 20 years. During this time, more than 100 people were successfully treated. We have significantly improved the technique of inserting a needle into the affected disc and the features of using a medical laser. Thanks to this, such operations have become safer. Efficiency reaches 90%, which is a good indicator for such minimally invasive operations. They are performed under local anesthesia last a little more than 30 minutes and do not require further inpatient treatment. For the accuracy of inserting the needle into the desired disc, an operating X-ray machine is used, and if necessary, a computer tomography, which significantly increases the accuracy of setting the needle at a given point.